Hello! Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to No Man's Land. I don't know why I say it like that, I just do. It's like uh, Attic and Park and the Organic Root Challenge. It always rolled my arse. I don't know why I did that either. Anywho, we are down here. <laughs> Street Harvester is in front of me. This guy's ready to go. I did bring down the bigger weight. That's on there. Uh, the 824 has got the multi thing on the back. Trainers over here. This does look tiny now that I'm seeing this in, in real life. Uh, and I have cleaned out all the wispy trees around this group of trees. So these are good to go. Uh, the wheat field has been... Uh, let's jump into here. Has been de-weeding. I've got a worker to weed and it missed bits. And I did the, uh, the fertilizer. And there's a couple of bits of lime that I've missed clearly. Um, but yeah, on the whole, that's good to go. This still needs extending. These two still need digging, but I'm not sure what to do with those at the moment. So we're going to jump into here. <coughs> now we have only leased this. So this could go horribly, horribly wrong. Um, but yeah, we'll try it once, right? Uh, I have set this to six metre length. Um, logs this is the same harvester that i was using on deer lands um, i like the tracks so that's what i'm going for tracks so let's clear some of these trees now shall we now i did say i wasn't planning on doing any forestry but you know oh i thought <laughs> i thought i was going to jump at the end probably not so you're yeah, not sure how well this is going to work Obviously my D, my, my tree be gone thing will be absolutely fine um, to remove the stumps. But uh, let's get this little group of trees down. And then we'll load a few up and take them up to the biomass heating plant. So yeah, so between this episode and the last episode, other than uh, cut, I didn't cut anything. Fertilizer lime, fertilizer herbicide. I de-weeded <laughs> and I spread some, some, some fertiliser on the wheat fields. I haven't done anything. Uh, when we take our first load of trees up to the biomass uh, we can have a quick shifty to see how that uh, grapes are doing. I'm, I'm going to say that they're processed and they're already out. So, because that thing's pretty quick. That old general mill. But uh, who knows? So I won't be, for all of you wondering, that this the last episode. I will not be joining that field with a new field on here. Not in the foreseeable futures, anyways. Um, yeah, this field and this field is going to be another field like that field. So we'll have two fields of large proportions rather than one massive field. Now, if we start doing pigs on the big scale, we're going to need a lot of different crops. So, yeah. Although we are going to need more grass if we expand our cow empire. So, we're going to need a lot of fields <laughs> of a lot of different things. Uh, the good thing with our general meal that we're using as a byproduct of the olive oil and the grape juice, we do get pig feet. So that will help us out, right? Small things. Now, I wasn't planning on doing any forestry on this map at all, because I've just you know, finished the thing on Deerlands, but... When you're looking for a large area that you could carve a new field in, and then you work out that you've um, changed all the roads that were on the map to um, rivers, and kind of put the blockers on a lot of a lot of areas where you could um, actually farm. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let's get this one processed. And then we shall turn this off because I don't get charged for the hour for that. So like here, 45, 44, I've got a few wispy trees. There's nothing there, but someone's got to put a river canal waterway through the two. So that's no longer a big field 
I would have to buy 34, 35, 36, 44, 45, 46, and then have one inside of that, rather than just build one in here. So where this field is a funny shape, it follows the tree lines, uh, pardon me, and it also follows the riverway. This will do the same, so this will come down around these trees, along the edge here, back up and around these trees. So it will still be a funny shape. Uh, this brown line is the boundary line, yet I can't even paint up to there, so it will be in a bit. So it's not a whole area. So, that being said, <coughs> I want to grab this guy quickly. There we go. Ooh. That looks a lot different already, doesn't it? Hopefully this won't take an age to do. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of those stumps just yet, just in case I uh, accidentally catch uh, a log. Now we need to make 20 grand to cover the harvest lease cost. So, we can't foresee us making 20 grand in the first um, trailer load. <laughs> uh, I do like this, this log picker up, I think. It's pretty much my go to if I'm using a front loader. Yeah, I think six meters should be good. I didn't want to go for seven, I think that might be a bit too long, and I thought five might be a bit short. Although, looking at it like this, five is probably going to be an ideal. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Let's get some light on the subject. I'm too far over, are I? I tell you what it is, I'm not holding the long in the middle, and that's the problem. Enough of that. There we go. Right, where are those little bits? There they are. Is any of this pick up a ball? Can I pick any of this up? I can pick that one up. So the more I can pick up, the less I have to struggle with. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's get that in there. As long as it's in there, I don't care where it stops. Is that one pick up a ball? No. That one I have to uh, use the front loader for. Oh, it's too far forward. Yeah, I was thinking earlier, whilst um, spraying herbicide, I could do with another tractor. <laughs> because if I had another tractor, I don't catch the logs. Oh, it's not fall down. If I had another tractor, I would be constantly swirling back and forwards, changing tractors. And we've got this little guy, which is the only guy with a front loader. Um, we've got our telehandler. I don't really want to drive that all down here. It's not very big. Uh, there's not a lot of weight in that, but it's ideal for moving manure, which is why it's in the cow barn. Um, this guy's not mahusive. Like this sort of thing really should have like a wheel loader, shouldn't you? Can I get... Can I get in there? Whoa. I've left the wispy one, that's fine. Oh, it's fine. So this is my winter task. Which you guys don't need to see. <laughs> this, this is what I'll be doing over winter. Uh, as I pointed out in the last episode, the next episode you will get after November will be March probably. But it's time to do other things that's not mess around with trees. So I get that one in. Why would I better get that one in? I just want to knock it in slightly. It's just caught the edge of that, isn't it? 
No, no, backwards, backwards. Oh, I'm too high. I'm too high. I've gone over the top. Just. There we go. Where's that wispy one? Put me torch on. Seriously, where is it? <laughs> that either? There you go, there it is. Right. Let's get this one in. No, 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 no. It's not going to take forever to do this. It will take longer than uh, I would like. <laughs> because everything takes longer than you'd like, right? But uh, as for the actual doing of it, I don't think it's going to take all that long. To clear all these trees. I'm not going to bore you with all this for the entire episode, we're just going to get a trailer load. So... It was just so you could see what it was I would be doing... Uh, yeah, over winter. And another one has hit the top. There we go. Can I get another load on there? Possibly, possibly. Let's get a, a, a kind of large, large-ish ones, I think. We'll grab these two. Probably should move the trailer closer so it would make my life easier, but what are you going to do? That would be too easy, wouldn't it? It would be a challenge. Again, I'm not going to produce anything with these. If you want to see all the Platinum stuff being produced, go check out my Dear Land series. I would say that was full. I don't think I'm going to get... I mean, I'm over the rails, so I don't think I'm going to get any more on there. There should be a wispy one here somewhere. Uh, wait, there it is. One wispy one. We'll get that on, and then we'll take these up to the biomass. See what sort of bullies we're going to get for trailer loads. Obviously, money will fluctuate. As and when. Um, that's, that's it enough, that's it enough. Let's get a couple of these straps on. There you go. Oh. I'll go for bat flat ray if I don't turn the lights off. I'm never going to get that started out. Right, one trailer full. Yeah, I don't mind if it's going to take me you know, a few loads to get these up there. It's not the end of the world. This is why I was going to use the other fent, but with the least costs. <laughs> and I got big plans for this. Well, I'll take big plans. I have expensive plans for this side. Uh, I will remove some of the wispy ones around the outside of that group of trees, but as for the trees themselves, they will remain. Now, I could technically sell these at the sweet shop. That is a buy everything uh, sell point there. So I could technically sell them, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take them to the biomass. It's quite up there. Let's get that around here. Don't tip the trailer up. I've got beacons on here. I have a beacon. That'll do. I have a beacon on. Now, I've not used this trailer before. This isn't the trailer I thought I installed, but it's the trailer we have. So it's the trailer we're going to be using. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So. 
Now, I don't have any plans for this episode other than the fact that I wanted to show you some of the logging. Uh, I hadn't planned on logging as you know, but yeah, so this episode is on the fly. It's, uh, it is what it is. You'll, you'll see what you'll see and I'll do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure I can sell this in a biomass, can't I? Not biogas, biomass. Different. Right. Check on that grain bin on that one over here. I can see stuff. So let's get this in here. Just like that. I'll just trap it. Turn it off for a second. So we are going to get approximately 10 grand a load. I'll take that. Oh, over right here. We have... Grape juice. Pig feed. Grape juice. Pig feed. Now the olive oil hasn't spawned, although we have 4,798 litres. Uh, and that's because my uh, extended pallet size mod thing puts out 5,000 litre oil pallets and it hasn't quite got the 5,000 litres therefore we didn't get a pallet when is the best when is the best time to sell grape juice grape juice olive oil best time to sell olive oil is June and grape juice is November uh, who's paying the best price? The news agents. The news agents are paying the best price at the moment. Five one seven eight, five one seven eight, five one seven one, and it's coming down. November's the best price. We are most of the way through November, so. We might as well take those two pallets with us and flog them. Uh, now this is going to be a test in itself. Get off of there. Uh, because... Can I just grab that one there? Why do I keep getting stuck on nothing? There's nothing there to get stuck on. But it turns out I can't pick it up. Now that it's on my log trainer, I can't pick it up. <sighs> yeah, I can't move that one. Oh. Yeah, this is where the fun begins. Um, because the news agent is the second one. It was the news agent we were going to, wasn't it? Uh, oh, actually, the sweet. Yeah, news agent. <laughs> That's the sweet shop's 590, but it's 459. Uh, the news agent's the second one, which means I need to drive round the first one. Uh, come on. Hopefully, we'll take it. Yes, the best time is November. So we need some sort of storage facility. Uh, I'm probably going to stick my Obertana theme and um, yeah, put one of our pallet storage mod buildings in because I absolutely love those. They are a genius idea. Uh, failing that, we would have to place one of the um, pallet and bale storage sheds uh, which means a lot of manual loading and unloading and I think manually loading it and delivering it to said storage shed is enough manual loading <laughs> so we're going to manually load it from the vine to the production and then the production yeah move from there to the storage place so that's the news agent that's the grocery store so 
I didn't think this through when I placed them. I just thought, oh, that looks good. That'll work there. I think I've left enough room to scooch around the outside. Yes, I have. <coughs> and then this one here should take it. Twenty two three three one for that. I'll take that. Twenty two grand for a couple of pallets of grape juice. Nice. So if you want some grape juice, the uh The news agent has some, um, but it is going to cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> oh. What is that? I don't know. What's up about that? I don't know. And there's the trailer back. I say these trees here are good logins. These wispies are just going to end up in the bin. Firewood, if you will. I'm not using the firewood mod, but you get the meaning. So that's what I will be doing over winter. I want to clear this area here. Uh, I may time lapse some of that and chuck it into an intro, maybe. Or you may just get like a 25 minute time lapse episode of me chopping down trees. Watch it or don't watch it. It's, not, no, it's up to you guys. So, I'll we'll leave all that there for now. And then we need to check on. They're doing alright. Oh, we've had another 100 of those. And then these guys, they're getting closer to producing milk, aren't they? <laughs> Seven and five, five, six, that's two, seven, so that'd be nine. Oh. Right. Where are we? Two, three, three, nine hundred. Right. That area there, I'll, I'll do something with that area there quickly. Before we uh, skedaddle. So this guy for a second. I don't want that mulching thing. Grab oh, this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We only go up and down. I don't want straight lines, so let's let's remove these wispy ones. And that one I don't think actually needs to go. These wispy ones. That one can go. That one can go. And that one definitely can go. That's completely in the way. That little skinny bump can go. This one is going. And then these two here can go. Have I left the stump behind on that one? No. Sometimes it leaves just like a little tiny bit. But sometimes it just knocks the tree over. Right, let's leave that there. Turn that off. Let's grab this guy. <laughs> All of the houses to get back to where I started from. I want this one. I want that one. I want that one. <laughs> right, let's get this guy. We're gonna head down to the store and we are gonna purchase. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. I'm lying to you. 
don't listen to me I'm full of turnips <laughs> we're not going to buy anything we are going to lease something now I got no issue with leasings and loans and all that good shenanigans but yeah so I literally want to give you a quick heads up of everything I'm going to be doing over winter and then you guys when you see me again in March you'll know oh well he cut those trees down and he's, that's what he said he was going to do oh he's, he's done this and that's what he said he was going to do and I've done that which is what I said I was going to do do you know what I mean rather than just like oh I'm going to do this 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 and this and then yeah you don't actually get to see what it is I'm waffling on about so my boy asked the other day why the placeable peoples aren't available on console but they are available on PC what is the deal with that and I was like I have no idea it's not like a script mod why can't I have placeable people are, the, are their clothes copyrighted <laughs> what's going on I really don't know what I said to him now I'm not entirely sure that my little tractor here with these little wheels is even going to be up to the job let's have a quick look in here uh, 517 was that there before? Oh, that's no good to me right. Sharon, I would like a plow uh, a unrealistic mahoosive one, I don't want to attach it, I will change it to fend classic green though because, you know, why not I'm going to lease that for four and a half grand. Cheers, Sean. Now, I may need a front weight on the tractor. We're just about to find out. Right. Yes, I've got a lot of off-screen work to do. Also got to feed the animals and then that other field needs cutting. The the, uh, the grass field, the wibbly one, looks like a pond. That one needs cutting. Whoa, don't catch the light poles. Am I even going to make it through the village? Through the little town area? That's a bit on the wobbly side, this. I'm not even sure I can make it up, up the new main street. Have I left enough space between the lights? Oh. Can I catch something? Slow down, slow down. Put the beacons back on. Put your beacons. Can I get through the hole? Oh, silliness. Don't catch the trees. Don't catch the rocks. Turn that beacon back off. Right, so that's the end of the plot, is here. And then down here. Have I got a line on the side? I'm sure I've got a bald line on the side to run over the edge of the boundary. Is. Yes, I do. There's the edge of the boundary. Now, did I do one at the back? No, I didn't. But I'm pretty sure that is the, the end. So, let's spin this round and get this unfolded. Now, this is going to be really, really random. Let's put that on for a second. Scooch out so I can see what it is I'm looking at, and then uh, I want to be centre ish out there. That centre ish of this plot, you reckon? Well, it's I'm slightly this side, which is kind of what I wanted. I want to be level with a seven, give or take. Uh, and I'll be right up there because I want turn in space. Let's draw that down there. That's going to work. Now I just need to keep it straight. I can see by the looks on your faces. What is he doing? <laughs> All will become clear in March. I've told you, darlings. Gonna be really random. Now the reason I went for this one is because for what I want to do, this is a perfect width. 
and I'll repeat that. That. This is the perfect, perfect, if you will, perfect width. So I will be collecting the stones off of here. So don't worry about that. Stones will be picked up. It'll be limed. Actually, I might have to do a first coat of fertilizer as well because I might have lost it because I don't think the grass is grown. And then the end of the plot. Yeah, straight over the number seven. Look at that. Is where that bald line is. So I don't want to go past there. There you go. Pick that up. Nice straight line. Back up. Each round. And then I'm going to go into uh, here. Painting. Uh, dirt will be fine. Uh, and then. Let's, okay, so it's slightly out this side. Which is going to be. Here ish. Yeah, the dirt's just touched the field. A lot faster about it being this way, I need to move over. I know, I double tapped B. Uh, so that's just on the edge of glory. <laughs> A 180. And I want that about the same as that one. Well, say about the same. I want it the same. Which is there, would you say? And then I need to go this way with it. Also in a straight line. All the way down to the end. Then I need one the other side, and the one this side of this one. And I go to. Uh, I don't know what the word is. Like a plaid shirt. Do you mean? Tartan. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. Again, all will become clear in March. Just. Bear with me. <laughs> just, just bear with me. Well, I get this level with that one. I'm actually quite surprised that this little fence can pull this. This 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 monumental plow. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Do I need to go one more? Have a look. Possibly another one. So roll forward one more dot. How's that? That looks better. Look. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Right. Then we need you to say this side. I need to, um, whoa, need to paint your dot on the floor. Dirt. It was that one, wasn't it? Was that one? Oh, that one. I need to come over just a smidge. Actually, this one's going to put the dot on the other side, isn't it? Yeah. Which is going to be just before. Oh. Just there. And I'll put this on here. Just 
trying to get that lined up in my head. Come on down. That looks perfect on there. And then we run forward. Can you guess what it is yet? Weirdness is what it is. It's all weirdness. Mr. Milk That Hen has gone round the bend. I haven't. I don't think. <laughs> if I have, I apologise. So, let's get to the end of here. It's starting to pull the other way now. There we go. It randomly pulls one way or the other. It never pulls in the same way twice. Have you noticed? This is going to be my random field. It's going to be a lot of little fields. All in the same place. Now my road's going to be right in the way there, so it's just going to have to... Ah, um, oh, turnips. I will paint the end of that one in. I think I'll paint the end of that one in. And that should be folding up. Don't fall in the water. Right, that's it off of there. That's that folding up. There we go. That's, yeah. I overrolled. So I'll paint the end of that one in, I think, and I'll move my road over slightly so it's closer to the river edge. Possibly. <laughs> or I might extend those ones out just a tad. Either or, you got the idea, right? And then there'll be tracks that run between each of the fields. So I send the drone up. Why have I got little bits? I'll, I'll tidy these edges up as well while I'm at it. So, so we have one in the middle, one each side, and then there'll be another one, obviously shorter one that'll be in here, and then another shorter one that will be in this side. So we'll have three long ones and two short ones. I'm gonna hope that I can get this one and that one should be about the same length methinks although that might be a short one because you have to start further this way because of the tree but there'll be five fields here in total if that makes any sense right, I'll let you ponder that because that's where I'm going to leave that for today <laughs> I'll finish that off off screen <laughs> just because I can where are we? 40 minutes, give or take. So, we need... This guy. To give him a wash off. We parked a bit close to that doohickey there. we right, we'll rinse him off. It's going to get filthy dirty in a minute anyway, but... Rains are coming as well, but I think grass is the only one you can harvest in the rain. Is that right? Well, technically harvesting it, oh, I just cutting it. That field over there needs a cutting. And oh, when's, the, when's the rain are coming? <laughs> Someone's telling me the rain's coming. 7 o'clock. And we're at 1 o'clock. So let's go over there. Oh, I jumped down. Every time I get there, there's a deer up here, as you noticed. It's almost the same place. Madness. Pure, unadulterated madness. <coughs> let's get this unfolded. Uh, I am just going to swath this. It'll be for silage again. Uh, I shall wait until... Uh, well, what have we got? I can't look in there, can I? Uh, we've got a hundred and something in here, haven't we? Uh, why can't I visit anywhere? There we go. 
120, so did I say in here? Uh, 121 in here. And then, I can't visit that, can't visit that, can't visit that, can't visit that. Oh, for the love of the jeepers. This is why I need some sort of scooch around vehicle, some sort of side by side or something. Where I can scoot about and not have to do silly things like this. And then straw, we have. What are we having straw? 58 straw bales. And we have. 118 hay bales. So if we do a little silage over here, we can then use the silage in the. BGA because I should have enough of everything else to keep me going until spring. Shall I do this now? Uh, actually, before we do that, let's grab this guy. Well, I could use that actually. I'll just bring it back in a minute when I do the rest of it. <clears throat> so we'll extend that field out. The cultivator is currently in the way. There's nothing in this field, so I can drive across it. Across it, not across. There's no T in across. This one, I'll extend this field out. Oh, I need the tree thing as well to like, move those silly little wispy trees. Especially here. Yeah, well, let's just get this unfolded. Oh, I'm just going to drop it down when it was unfolded, but it won't let me, will it? Me being silly. Right. Well, I thought that there. Come on. Unfold, Dad, never. Will I go move that cultivator out of the way? Somebody has left it in the way they have. Field creation with that thing is going to be horrendous, isn't it? I need. To, I should have bought the small one up, left it down there. Oh well. I didn't want to move some of these wispies as well, but. Is what it is. Let's just dump that there. Let go, let go, let go. Thank you. I'm going to stop there. There we go. <laughs> this might be easier with a smaller plow. Well, I should try it. Go down. Allow create fields. I'll tell you what, this thing makes light work of field creation. I should have installed these before I made like that field there. <laughs> uh, this is less than 100 grand that I spent over two on that silly field. Right, spin this right round here. Don't get too close to that field. It's a bit close, isn't it, eh? I shall sort that edge out in editing. <laughs> I will probably, yeah, sort that edge out. It's a bit close. I need to get a track down there. Let's get this background to this one. Ooh, little tree. I'll line that up there. I mean, it's not extended it by a lot, but it's extended it by enough, right? This is bouncing around like a trooper. But yeah, so that edge there I will adjust when I do my landscapey edit. 
dirt pathway, gravel drive, whatever you want to call it. I'll, I'll sort that out. Don't worry about that. You don't worry, don't you? Don't care. Right, let's get this bit. That's one more pass. And why didn't I lease this for field creation? <laughs> I did that top field and that field over there with a six meter. It was only the, the fields further down. Actually, I don't even remember when I changed it to nine. Oh, well, whatever it was, I should have changed it earlier. <laughs> Save myself so much time. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Right. That's that. Yeah, I'll, I'll sort that edge out. It's a bit close. So, let's jump into ER. Actually, let's, let's go. Yeah, that's, that's this one's fine. If I turn off soybean, you can see the whole field. So that's the new field size. It's bigger than this one, but it's not massive. It's no, no, it's not as big as this. Or as silly looking as those. <laughs> so the only crop we have at the minute is wheat. Everything else is grass. That's empty, that's empty. I can't plant anything at the moment. Nothing at all. Um, I did think about turning off seasons and I just... Because the reason I turned seasons back on when I was doing... Um, what was I doing? Elm Creek. I turned seasons back on because fertilising contracts and all that good stuff um, don't pop up very readily, readily when you're um, not running seasons. They just appear willy nilly in fertilising contracts. As a contractor, are oh, your bread and butter, right? We need a lot of those. So, I have actually tempted to buy one of these now. <laughs> I should have had one in the first place. Especially for things like this. Right, let's drop that down, take that weight off that three point. There we go. Right. Mower. If I could get. Oh, so I could get a worker to do this. That's going to go horribly wrong if I try to employ a worker. We can, but try. I know this isn't the longest edge, but it's the edge I'm going to take. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'll get this bailed up for more silage to get this fermented and shipped off. Well, what I'll do is... I'll get this um, baled. <coughs> then however many silage bales I produce, I will take those from our storage and dash them into the BGA with the slurry and everything. And then I'll put these in to the storage, if that makes any sense. Does it make sense? Makes sense to me. Hopefully that guy will be alright. I've not had much luck with workers on this map. <coughs> that's that, that's that. I need another tractor. Uh, that guy's not doing much, but he's all set up for logging. That guy's set up for logging. What we got in here? 54,000 litres of slurry and 28,000 litres of manure. Where's the other tractor gone? Who's nicked it? Done that one already. Oh, he's here. He's here. <laughs> he's here. I found him. He was hiding, so he was. Now, with this field here, which technically isn't a field at the moment, I can almost cut that for hay should I need to. Uh, I may create that field, these fields, off screen. If I can get those trees all chopped down before March. Um, I will, uh, thing. 
Try to get those trees all chopped down before March. I may start creating the field, or at least the boundary of that field. So when you guys jump back in, you will uh, you'll see what's going on. Right, let's head up to the farm. That's off-screen shenanigans. That's going to be some off-screen shenanigans. Uh, I've got the mower man mowing. I need to pick up the grass for silage. I want to get that field sorted. I need to get something in this field. Times are ticking, <laughs> as they say. Let's go this way. I need the lime thing, get that thing lined. The whole field should be first coat fertilised. I get in line, get the stone picker, get the stones off, and then that field's all ready to go for the spring. Hey. Well, I could have used a smaller tractor, but that's all geared up, ready to go for the, the logs, so I'd rather not. Who is this guy? Well, he's only got a 17.3 hour on him. Only, only 17 hours. Get this top done. Uh, like this one. Ooh. There's our plow. Our little lime beaters. Oh, well, that one's big. I'll tell you what that is. That's heavy compared to the other one. Mm. Tire squeal on grass. If you watch the old uh, cop. TV shows, uh, you know, professionals, that sort of thing. Uh, what was the thing with Dennis Waterman in? Uh, Dennis Waterman and John Thor. I can't remember what it's called. He played Carter, didn't he? Carter? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, long story short, when I used to travel, uh, no, off-road to you know, grab the bad guys, as it were. Um, and they'd fly around the corner on wet mud and you'd get tyre squill, which I always thought was hilarious. See? There's just some mods and this map that don't mix. And the John Deere mower of this map clearly didn't mix because that guy's doing all right until he drives into those trees. <laughs> we end up with a mower stuck in a tree. Right. Any use. It's been one of those episodes, hasn't it? A lot has been started and nothing's been finished. <laughs> and someone's left a cultivator in the middle of this field. Darn and dag nab it. Oh. Again, not everything on this playthrough, let's play. There is some role element, I suppose, but I'm not very good at role play. Well, I'm in my head, just not when it comes to you guys listening. I get embarrassed. Um, yeah, I'm no daggering for role play. If you want, want role play, go watch Daggering. <laughs> if you want sh general shenanigans, come over here. That are bad decisions. I'm good with those. Oh, we get this line, go get the stone thing. And then I shall start stone picking up in. And then I think we're going to call this one here. Because I've got a fair bit to do before March. But you don't want to see me drive round and round and round, do you? Or cut down 20 tonne of trees. You never know. You may get an episode in December. I haven't planned on an episode in December, but you may get one, <laughs> whether you'd like it or not. <laughs> yes, I am redoing the whole field, because why not? Oh, um, I was thinking, talking of unrealistic. Now, this thing 
spits out lime at quite a slow rate. Uh, I did have to refill it when I limed that field. I'm sure I did. And as my fields are going to start getting bigger, we're going to need more and more lime. Now, do I stick with the unrealistic and just you know, do what I would do off screen, on screen? Or do we invest in a more realistic spreader with a larger capacity that I've got to fill 20 times? I'm leaning towards shenanigans. Because, you know, it's what I like, it's my thing. It's my bag, baby. Anyways. So you might get an episode in December. I do have quite a bit to do. I didn't think there'd be much to do over the winter months. Uh, which is why I said in the first first instance that we were going to just not worry about um, episodes over the winter and just crack on again in March. Like I did last year. But then in fairness, last year this year I did was fed the animals. So there, there really wasn't anything to do. But... Uh, Yeah. We may I say we may you may get an episode. I may make one. <laughs> you never know. Uh, the amount of work I have to do could make some content, couldn't it? And you see things unfold as of the lie. But the biggest thing I wanted to get done in this episode was our home. I needed somewhere to live. Bunking up with a farmhand is fine, uh, but not ideal. Uh, and the fact that every time I spawned in, I spawned at the store was frightfully annoying. Yeah, the big thing I wanted to get done in this episode, I've done. I've showed you some plans. I'll let you work out what you think I'm going to do. I, I, I did hint earlier uh, for the area down at the town area. I hinted the fact that I was going to do something I hadn't done before, but I wasn't going to do it in a very realistic way. So, if that helps you out, run with it. I can hear your brains ticking. You're all thinking boot crops. Because they're straight fields. Oh, I never said that. But what did I mention root crops? Now, if this cultivates. No, it's not. You see, the problem with this is I can't see where I've been. Which means I'm going to have to use a cultivator to cultivate the area. I've never run back with a stone pickup and I can't see where the stones are. <sighs> right, let's drop that off there. Clearly I am cultivating this field first. It's not the end of the world. Stick with Buckle. I'm currently listening to Miriam Margulies. Absolutely love that woman. No, I'm not sure if this has got enough berries to pull this around. So you find out. I think we have. Only just, but I think we have. But while I'm thinking about it, let's oh let's turn those off. I don't want to get charged for that. And then this field here is what I'm looking at. Uh, it doesn't need lime. It's got some weeds. Yeah, it's got first application. So that when we uh, we come to seed, it'll have second application. I don't have to worry about it. Not that I know what I'm putting in there, like. Something, something will go in here. Anywho's 
I am going to leave it there for this random episode of Shenanigans. As I say, that you're more than likely to get an episode in December because I have more to do over the winter than I planned or that I thought. I had planned on doing the jobs, but I didn't think there'd be that much that I needed to do. So you're probably going to get an episode over the winter, which maybe or and or include picking that up. Anyways, I'll do what I do off screen. What I don't do off screen, you'll see in December, clearly. Um, I need to get that grass off the ground before it starts raining. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Each and every one. Please, take care. I shall see you all. If this trash makes up now. I shall see you all in my next adventure. Cheers guys.